So now I've really got something right with the N105. I'm going to take this helmet apart, show how it works, but later on we'll show the rider review. So make sure you stay around for that. The N105 definitely has a few things going for it, and it's been a strong contender since it was first released. This modular helmet is an improved version of the N104, and it's also going to come in very neatly in that mid-range kind of segment. It's going to come in at 400 US dollars, or about 380 euros at the recommended retail price, like I said, putting it very neatly into that category. So before we dive into this review, take the time to check out our live store, which is open Wednesdays. It's your chance to see gear live, talk with us live, and get some big discounts. So for more info, head to championhelms.com slash live store. If we have a look at the shell now, this is where uh, you see a lot of okayness, a bit of a common theme. So we have the shell material, it's going to be polycarbonate, the Lexan material from Nolan, their own special kind of polycarbonate, okay material. Then we have two uh, shell sizes for this helmet, and that's also okay. Three is much better, four is way better, one is much worse, so two is okay. And sadly, it has not yet been read by Sharp. I'm quite curious to see how it will do in that test, but it does have the ECE rating, so it will be uh, a protective helmet. And in terms of weight, it's also okay. This size M came in at 1,720 grams on a scale, so not the heaviest and not the lightest. So next up is the ventilation, and it looks quite a lot like the kind of standard Turing helmet setup that we see quite often. On the chin, we have chin vent. See that there? Can be a little bit difficult to use with gloves on because you can pretty easily just slip off of this without gripping it. Then it's going to bring air straight up onto the visor using these vents here. Always great for demisting effect. Up top we have a scoop. It's going to do what scoops do. It's going to bring air onto the top of your head and bring a lot of air in. So it's going to push all that warm air out as well. Then at the back we do as well have exhaust underneath this little wing. And there's a bit of room at the back of the liner here for some air to escape as well. But we found that the ventilation on this helmet was a bit of a letdown. The channels in the EPS, we'll see in a second, uh, they were quite uh, thin. So it meant that not a whole lot of circulation was coming through these helmets. And that was something that did, uh, like I said, just uh, kind of negatively Im impact on that ventilation. So to the visor now, and you can probably tell it's going to be anti-fog pin lock lens prepared. You can see the pins here. You can see the pin lock is actually in the visor at the moment. And we do get that lens in the box with the helmet, which is a great uh, bit of extra value from Nolan. So let me open this up. I'll show you guys the drop down sun visor. There it is. It's controlled using this slider here. So you can run through a few different options with it as well. And then we can release it using this little button at the bottom there, like that. All right, so it's time to pull the liner out of this helmet. Let's do that. Uh, this is going to be obviously removable, but it's also washable. And much of the helmet, we can open this up. I'll show you a bit more about that later on. Also the micro ratchet here, I'll show you again a little bit later on. Now. Uh, this liner, you can adjust it with these little uh, yeah, pins here. So you can uh, tighten that neck roll if you like. Uh, we can also take it out. So let me show you how that works. There's no emergency quick release, so we're doing this the old fashioned way, pulling everything out of the helmet. First of all, these couple little things here. Pull those through. Cheek pads can come loose as well. Make sure we pull everything out. Might as well go to this side now. Pull that through. Cheek pad one. Cheek pad two. Neck roll here. Loosen it on this side. Make sure we're pulling those pins out. There we go. Show you that in a second. Headliner. Going to have the kind of pins we see on a lot of Nolan helmets. And then finally, those at the very back. So pull this out, put this to the side, and we'll have a bit of a closer look at this headliner. So you can see this here, uh, pretty kind of standard headliner from Nolan. Not particularly thick, plenty of perforation, going to allow some uh, air movement through it, and it also it will be fairly comfortable. Now to this neck roll here, and yeah, it's a neck roll. You can see that we can adjust it, how tight it is using this system here. Uh, pins to keep it in place as well. So now to these cheek pads, pretty neat cheek pads, nothing particularly special about them. Uh, everything is okay. The finish on this liner is also all right. It could be a little bit better if I'm honest, but for a 
mid-range helmet with so much value like this, it's not bad at all. So back to the helmet here, we'll open it up, have a look, and you can see in there those channels for the ventilation. Not a lot, not very uh, deep, plenty of holes though, which does help, but uh, yeah, it's really let down a little bit by those, uh, by the channeling. We do as well have some speaker cutouts here, which is pretty interesting because it's in the shape of a uh, little triangle there. And it's just gonna have a little cover so we can pop them out as well to put a communication system into this helmet. But on the inside here with the EPS, uh, everything is pretty neat and tidy. So let's just round out on the last couple of things. We have, of course, a micro ratchet enclosure system at the bottom there, gonna keep you nice and safe, keep you in your helmets. And because we do have a modular helmet, let's open it up. To do that, this little red kind of tab at the bottom here, pro, uh, pull on that and then this one pops out, pinch them together and you can open it like that. And once it's up, sits on the brow like this, you can ride with the helmet uh, in this position, but not like this because obviously this can close. So what we have to do is find this little switch on the side here, push that up and then it's going to lock and it's not going to go anywhere. So now we can ride around with the chin bar up if we want. If you're sick of that, don't worry, just kind of press that down and then we can close the chin bar and everything comes back together. So that's how that works. So the Nolan has been through our beep test and this test is of course designed to show how much noise is stopped by the shell and the liner from getting to your ear. Now the Nolan did very well like I said and also in terms of wind noise it was quite strong. So in our test it scored 27 against a control of 19 so it blocked 8 decibels of noise which was a great result especially for a mid-range modular helmet. So now for our riding test. Our rider took the helmet out on a BMW 1250GS Adventure and we set up some equipment to measure how the helmet performed. So you can see that we have a white unit on the left of the bike and that is our thermometer which was placed in the helmet by the ventilation channels. Next in the top middle we have a decibel meter and the sensor for that was placed in the liner by our rider's ear. The screen on the right shows the wind speed and in the middle we of course have the bike's speed and outside temperature displayed on the dash. Alright, so now on to our test. We took our measurements while riding at 130 kilometers per hour on a day that was 20 degrees Celsius and with a wind speed between 125 and 130 kilometers per hour. The temperature inside the helmet remained around 30 to 32 degrees Celsius with the vents open and the decimal meter inside the helmet registered approximately 98 decibels, give or take. So our rider found that the helmet was fairly strong on the road. They noted that the ventilation was definitely weak and that they would have preferred some more strength in that area as 30 degrees inside the helmet was fairly uncomfortable. For noise isolation, our rider was overall quite happy. While riding on the highway, the noise remained below 100 decibels for the most part, which indicated very strong noise isolation. And this was also confirmed in our beep test. So it was great to see some parity between our on the road and off the road tests there. Aerodynamically, the helmet was fairly stable and our rider did comment that it felt pretty heavy while riding, which does make sense. The overall impression that we got from our riding test was that this helmet performed at least well in all areas, except the ventilation and that it held up pretty well as a high value modular helmet. Now if we compare this to a premium placed Shui Neotech 2, which while under similar conditions came in at around 100 decibels of noise, and in terms of ventilation had a difference of only one to two degrees, we can see some strong differences. So the noise isolation on the Nolan came at the cost of ventilation, whereas on the Shui Neotech 2, we have both which are quite strong. And so we can really see here that there's a difference between premium helmets and more mid-range helmets, uh, seeing as premium helmets are more even across the board, whereas our mid-range Nolan had to make a compromise or two. Don't forget as well guys to head to championhelms.com and check the product bundles for the Nolan. You'll have some great deals there to do with a second visor or a communication system, so don't forget to find them. Alright, so that's going to be it for the Nolan N105, a very strong modular helmet in this mid-range category. So it's going to have some great features like that noise isolation and also that double certification for the chin bar so you can ride with it open if you like. Uh, it is however let down a little bit by that ventilation that I mentioned before. So guys, if you want to see more reviews like this, reviews in general, or anything at all, subscribe to us on YouTube because there's always more coming out. So guys, thanks for watching. I'm Chris from Champion Helmets, and I'll see you all next time.